Hey guys, Shambi and today I want to do a quick beginner guide for pain cage because I can see a lot of beginner go into pain cage and make the same mistake. So hopefully this will be helpful to you guys. Now let's just jump right into it. So pain cage just like Warzone will be the main way for you to make black card for free to play player because in the weekly mission there will be weekly pain cage mission and it is really easy you don't have to do really well in pain cage even though there's a mission that requires you to reach 400,000 progress it is really easy so just remember to do pain cage every single day and you're good to go in pain cage each of your character will have ap i don't know what ap mean probably action point ability point but you can only use a single character five times and if you use your strong character in the test or elite stage you cannot use the character in hell or chaos which you need to save the character until hell or chaos also if you found yourself making the mistake but you catch yourself while doing it don't save the score it will not cost you any ap if you don't save the score okay if you're not satisfied with the run because you use a strong character or your points were not high enough don't save the score, it will not cost you any AP, you can go back and do it again. And it is going to be the same across different bosses. So remember to not use your strong character for the earlier stages, because the earlier stages are very, very easy. You only need one real character to be test or elite. The other character can be anything. It doesn't really matter what the other character is. You should be able to solo the test and elite stage with one single decently built character. You will only need that character to be around level 40 or 50 and each one of you guys will have that one particular very strong set and in our current stage we should have a decent pattern set and it is going to be pretty good on Lucia or Bianca or Lee or yeah they're pretty good. So what you want to do is you want to unequip that from your alpha and put it on your other side DPS character. So I decided to play with Lucia B because I want to practice melee attack. So I'm going to be better at alpha and I want to use her for the lower stages. So there are five stages in each boss and you have to bring in two character minimum. In the early stages, you can do two character. So you can do two round here, two round here and one round here that will cost you five ap and then you will run another two character and then you can do one here maybe two here and two here so in total you will clear 10 stages so in total you'll clear 10 stages with a weak character and that is enough to clear most of the weekly mission and then you bring in the strongest team to either clear chaos or hell and you're good to go so in total you will need about seven character minimum if you want to clear everything but you actually don't have to do it last week i only cleared two bosses i didn't touch the third one at all and i could finish the last requirement for the nanami and finish my weekly mission two for the earlier stages two for the middle stages and three for the hardest difficulty and then every time pain cage reset you'll be able to receive a currency which is the skull right here in your mailbox and you can use the skull to buy character pieces and with this method you can double s any s rank in the game for free okay so i'm trying to double s my karenina ember and i'll move on to buy whatever new s rank that i get so i can double s them if you don't want to spend black card to summon another copy so you can double s them but this is the way to double s pretty much every s rank in the game anything more than that is gonna be really expensive and takes forever any other character down here the a rankers you can always just go to the interlude section and farm their pieces with stamina for free so for this i would suggest not buying anything but as rank character shot and also if you're patient enough don't buy the pieces until you can buy enough to double as them because you might get a copy of them while you are doing a random you know pooling session for whatever reason you might get a random copy of them or in the future you're trying to pull for an a ranker but you actually pull an s rank and you manage to get karenina for me for example then i wouldn't have to buy any shot for her if my goal is to only double s her so i bought some shot and realized that 
So that was my mistake right there. And I hope you don't fall for the same mistake because every single upgrade is not really that amazing, but you want to get the whole rank up as a whole. So you don't buy the pieces before you can actually, you know, just double as her immediately. Because every small knot is not really that big of a deal. You would say, you know, it's not really wasted. It is still bonus stats, but I could use the currency for something else. Each boss will probably deserve a video on its own to tell you guys how to beat the boss the best way possible. But I'm not going to sit here and pretend I know that. You can go and check out Rexland's channel. He'll probably teach you how to beat Alpha, Kamu, Mushashi the best way possible. I'm just going to tell you the beginner mistake and some basic information so you don't go in here and you don't know what the hell is going on. I still have two attempts. So let's go and try out the earlier stages of these bosses. All right, and also the earlier stages can be used to practice a little bit, you know, to learn about their skill. It's gonna, she's gonna revenge me at some point, right? Why are you not revenging? There you go. Oh, she's coming for me. Oh, I dodged a little bit too early. A little bit too early right there. Ooh, scary, girl. Scary. Ouch. Okay, I see you. I see you. Okay, I'm running out of dodge. Not yet, not yet. We good? Oh, that hurts. Ooh, always a little bit too early for that, right? Always a little bit too early. Not today. Eat this, buddy. And we're good. <laughs> and we are good. I'm gonna I'm gonna be dead to the real alpha. I wish the Rosetta boss fight was as hard as this level. <laughs> and not one shot, you know what I'm saying? Hello Kamu, how are you doing today? Don't feel like talking? Alright. Ouch. Oh god. I didn't see that coming. I'm scared. Am I scared though? Am I scared, Kamu? He's gonna do the thing? Yeah. Not today, Kamu. Not today. I'm not that easy girl before. Not today, Kamu. I see you. I see you. I see through you, Kamu. And I got him. <laughs> My Kernia had a little bit better memory and weapon compared to Lucia. So it was a little bit easier. How far am I from level up? That is 40, 60. That's two run with this. All right, let's do two run here. Now we can. <laughs> this character is so OP, man. She does so much damage. It's ridiculous. Mm -mm. And I've achieved what we call nice nice <laughs> oh my god dude you gotta drop a like for this right right boys come on but anyway thank you so much for watching hope you guys enjoyed the video and i'll catch you guys in the next one bye